Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to create this pink and gold summery manicure using the Sparkle & Co. May 2022 subscription. So let's get right into the video. All right, so here is the May 2022 subscription. This one is called Fairy's Choice, which I think is super cute. And I'm just going to start opening up all of the packages inside. So there are a few stickers and some paper cutouts which come in all of the subscriptions. And then here is the informational card which shares all of the products that come inside. So pause if you want to read any more of this information. And I'm just going to continue opening up the products. So here is the nail polish as well as the dip liquid. Um, the nail polish is a really beautiful pink color. And then the liquid of the month, I can't exactly remember what dip liquid I, it is. I'm pretty sure it's the matte top coat. Um, but anyway, you'll see that right here in a second. And then here is the package of gel polishes. So here are the swatch sticks. I'm just going to quickly show them to you. And then I'm going to take out the four different colors. And I will also be doing that with the dip powder shades as well. So here's the package of dip powders. And like I said, I'm going to quick show you the swatches and then take the colors out because I will go a little bit more in depth in just a second. All right, and here is the extra item that always comes in the subscriptions. Um, this month it happens to be a portable nail drill, which I think is really helpful because this tool can be used um, especially with dip powder to file and make the nails nice and even, so I was super excited to see that. And then here's a closer look at the dip liquid. This is the matte finish, as well as the gel liquid, which is gel protect. Here is the nail polish, it is called Vintage Summer and it's a gorgeous pinky coral. Here is Grape, a beautiful purple gel. Hyrus, a gorgeous gold flake gel polish. Coco Crush, a gorgeous tan color. And then Sparkle Fairy, a pink shimmer. Here is I Want It All 38 Fairy Shortcake, a gorgeous glitter. Nailed the Interview, a more neutral color. Royalty, a gold flake topper. Pink Mood, a temperature changer. This is sort of a mauve color. Jelly Sandals, a gorgeous pink shimmer. And Jawbreaker, a really fun glitter mix. So those were all of the colors that came in this month's set. And of course, I'm going to get started on my manicure here. So I'm starting off with my clean and prep natural nails, and I'm going to go in with a thin layer of my Sparkle & Co. pH prep liquid, and this is going to dehydrate the nail surface and prep it for the dip application. And then since I do not want this manicure to last long, I'm going to apply a thin layer of my Mini Boss Peel Base. And this is a peel off base coat, which will allow super easy pop off removal of my dip manicure. So I'm just applying a nice thin layer of this to all of my nails and then letting that dry completely before I move on. So here are the two shades. I'm going to be using Royalty, that gorgeous gold flake topper, and then Jelly Sandals, that beautiful pink shimmer. I think both of these pair really nicely together. And then to do the application, I'm going to be using my Sparkle & Co. Base Balm Liquid. So I'm doing this pink color on my thumb, pointer, and middle nails, and I'm using my standard dip application technique. So that is applying a thin, even layer of the base to my entire nail, dipping my nail into the powder, and then tapping off any excess powder. And this gets me a super even application and a gorgeous finish. And as you might notice in a little bit in this video, I actually didn't clear encapsulate and I really didn't even file the nails hardly at all, and that's because my dip application was so even and smooth, it really wasn't necessary. So I find that if you really take the time to perfect your dip application, you will save a bunch of extra time filing and clear encapsulating if you choose to do that. So that's just something I wanted to mention um, because it was super helpful in this manicure. So as you guys just saw, I finished up the first coat and now I'm just wrapping up the second coat here. And I did go in with three coats of this color just to build up the opacity. Um, this one is sort of a jelly color, which obviously that's in the name, but I did want it to be a little bit more opaque. So that's why I'm doing more than two coats. 
I also do quickly want to mention that I do have a discount code as well as a referral code with Sparkle & Co. And I will leave both of those in the description in case you want to check them out. Um, those codes will save you some money on the Sparkle & Co. website. So I do recommend you check them out if you are interested. And uh, you can definitely support me a little bit using those as well. So it's a win-win and I really do recommend you check those out. So all of that information will be in my description. All right, so I just wrapped up the dipping of the pink color and now I'm going to be going in with this gorgeous gold flake. And I'm going to be doing two layers of this on my ring and pinky nails. Now, this is a sheer color. You can definitely see my natural nail through the dip powder even after two coats. And that is to be expected. This is a topper color. Um, but I did want to sort of have that negative space look with this uh, design. I think it looks super fun. And I think it looks really good with the pink shimmer. So that's totally a personal preference. If you did want to have the nail covered up, you could definitely apply this gold flake over a base color as well. So you guys just saw I applied the base in the same method I did for the pink nails. The only change here is that I'm dipping the nails parallel to the surface of the powder and that's going to help the flakes sort of stick down. And then I also do take my activator liquid to push down the flakes that are poking up and this just helps them seal into the dip powder. All right, and now that all of the dip powder is applied, I am going to use my Sparkle & Co. Solidify Liquid to activate the rest of my nails. And I'm going to apply two generous layers of this to harden up all of the powder and make the nails ready for the little bit of filing that I did do. And I did lightly buff the nails off camera just to smooth out any ridges. And now I'm going to be sealing in my manicure using my Sparkle & Co. Gel Top Coat. So at this point, you could either go in with a dip powder top coat or a gel top coat. Personally, I just think gel top coat is easier, so that's what I'm doing here. And the application is very simple. You just have to apply a thin, even layer over all of the nails, wrap the free edge, and then cure for 30 seconds once you are happy with the application. And then once the nails are fully cured, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my Happy Cuticle Co. oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using the Sparkle & Co. May 2022 subscription. So I really do love how simple these nails came out. They are so pretty and elegant and definitely perfect for the summer season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.